Hello VB Voice developers! In this video, we're going to walk through installing VB Voice and Pronexus recommended software driver Dialogic HMP. Make sure you are logged in as a local admin and have local admin rights to the machine you're installing on. Also remember to right click and select to run as admin any of the software we're going to install and any of the administration utilities we're going to use. Also, please note that we need to install .NET Framework version 4 if we haven't already, as well as IIS to support Visual Connect if we want to enable both voice and visual IVR development. With that groundwork set, let's install VB Voice. This example is a fresh install on a new machine, so no previous versions need to be uninstalled. We are selecting English as the default language. We also get here a list of developer best practices. Take time to read these as they could save you time and frustration later. We are going to leave the install package destination as the default location and install. Once installed, we don't need to run the control panel at this point. If you do decide to open it up, you'll find that this is where we keep our various configuration tools, log viewing, and some quick start help files. Now we need to install the driver. We recommend Dialogic HMP because the download is free and you can also take advantage of free demo licenses. It's compatible with VMware ESXi as well, so you can deploy on a virtual machine. Prior to installing, you'll need to disable UAC, DEP, PAE, and antivirus as per Dialogic requirements. Once again, we are not going to change the default location. Dialogic HMP prompts you to indicate what you'd like to install. We always recommend you install the software development kit and you must install the core runtime package. The circuit connectivity runtime package applies to systems using DNI boards. If you're on a virtual machine or using voice over internet protocol or VoIP, you don't need to select this. We always recommend customers install the Dialogic demos as they're useful for baseline testing or troubleshooting purposes. Finally, you don't need to install the SNMP Component Manager. Once you have made your selections, you'll see a summary of what you're about to install and how these items will appear in the menu. Complete the wizard and let Dialogic HMP install, then reboot to complete the installation. When you open the VB Voice Control Panel after completing the installation, Set the voice and data interface to Dialogic HMP with Dialogic CC. As you can see, the one port HMP demo license is already activated. Open DCM and start HMP software. To launch a sample application, open up the VB Voice Control Panel. Navigate to the Help section and click the Quick Start tab. Then, launch EasyFlow to quick start your application development. 